Has there been a new law that just passed that makes it illegal for guys to take girls out on dates? I think chivalry is dead, guys. Dead. Y'all really be asking women to slip the check on a first date? Fellas, is chivalry dead? Chivalry is dead, and women killed it. Snigtow stands for men guarding their own wallets. That's the best thing to do right now. Breaking f***ing news, y'all. Um, chivalry is f***ing dead. Chivalry is dead. Is anybody else just over this hookup culture? I'm online. I'm trying all these things. What happened to romance? You should definitely be opening the rest. Reciprocity is something that's missing in modern women. They only see themselves. Kindly subscribe to the channel as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. So I've been reading through comments. And I have questions. Y'all really be asking women to slip the check on a first date? I can't imagine. I think maybe twice ever. Which, you're going to win in the short term. You're going to lose in the long term. Because if a man asks me to split the check, I'm going to say, you know what, baby boy, don't worry, I got it. And I'm going to pay the whole check. And I'm going to block your number. Because that's not marriage material to me. I can't raise a family with somebody that's afraid to spend $15 on dinner. Sorry, I said what I said. Like, what the... Yes, you're not that special, honey. Women fought for equal rights. 50-50 guys are a lot smarter now. We're not falling for your bullshit. Double standards at its finest, people. Again, what's wrong with splitting the check? The mindset women have is so mind-blowing. It really is. These women have a big issue paying for the food that they ate on the first date. They're all looking for a traditional man, but none of them are traditional women. A first date is to get to know somebody and see if you guys can move forward in the relationship. Some of these women use men for a free meal and then just ghost them afterwards. It's best if both parties split the check on the first date. Some people have it where whoever invites on the date pays. Splitting the bill on a first date is don't care. Whoever asks the person out first, I feel like should pay. It doesn't matter, boy, girl, whatever. I just think if it's your idea, you ask someone out, you should be paying. This would make sense if more women ask men out on dates, but that's not the case. The idea that whoever ask on the date should pay would never work out because women typically never initiate such a thing. They always wait for the guy to make the first move and ask them on dates. So women would never have to pay because they don't ask guys on dates. That's one of the reasons why I think it's important to split the bill. This is what's wrong with men in America now. You're never supposed to let the woman walk on the outside next to the cars. Chivalry is dead. That's so sweet, babe. Shut the fuck up. I probably won't believe this. I mean, I'm still shocked, but there's still men out there who don't open doors for girls when getting into a restaurant, like on a date or something. And there's also men who don't open your car doors. So you get next to an Uber, you open the door, you want to get in, and then he makes you like scoot over so he can literally do zero effort. That's how you do it. I mean, lie. am I too old school or you guys just have zero manners? I thought men and women are the same. We are trying to fight for gender equality, so maybe you should open your own door. I never understood why I would need a man to open a door for me when I can do it myself. I don't need a man to do that for me, tanks, but I have hands. Why do women always expect to get treated like goddesses, but never treat guys like gods and do such things for him? Pretty sure if girls appreciated guys that did stuff like this, rather than chase after toxic guys, more guys would do this. Sometimes I stand there waiting for them to open the door for me, and then they open the door and go in first. <laughs> I'm really confused on why she's offended, because we're the same now, and that man was just being fair and treating her as an equal. In fact, 
I think it's quite disrespectful of her for not opening the door for him. That man was probably in his soft guy era. All jokes aside, the saddest part of this is the women in the comments who wants to compete with men. They're so focused on competing with men, not realizing it's only going to make men not be chivalrous if nothing changes. If a woman wants to receive chivalrous acts, she must show you that she's worth it. The times aren't the same anymore. She has to earn her keep. Okay, so I'm genuinely curious. Is chivalry actually dead? Like there's no more of the courting, no more dating, getting to know somebody, talking on the phone, like anything like that. It's just unsolicited pics from now on. Dudes be pushing 40 and still not treating women right. Grow the fuck up, you're about to die. Well, whatever is the matter? I thought that's what some women wanted, to be treated as equals to men. And that seems to be exactly what's going on here. Or did one not notice the men also standing around waiting for seats? Or is that part of the problem? Is it that some women only wanted to be treated as equals to men when it serves their purpose and benefits them, but if it doesn't, maybe they are wanting to just be treated better than men? The combination of qualities expected of an ideal knight, especially courage, honor, courtesy, justice, and a readiness to help the weak. Chivalry is definitely dead because women killed it. Women got what they wanted, so don't complain because men stopped listening to you. I remember being pregnant on the train and no one offering me a seat. Man or woman even hiding behind papers to avoid eye contact so they didn't have to offer me a seat. I never wanted us to be equal. We have different roles, different bodies and different types of endurance. Thankfully, my husband still gets my door for me. I looked after the kids and he works. I'm from Texas. We say yes, ma'am. No, ma'am and open doors. One time a woman yelled that I thought less of her for opening the door. I now make sure the door closes behind me. I don't offer any more due to being insulted by the women for offering. Same with holding a door. Had so my grief that I can't be bothered anymore. I saw one guy offering his seat to a girl and she reply, I have a boyfriend. With myself standing, I sat down instead and reply to her, I have a boyfriend too. That woman should only be celebrating right now and not complaining. Her wish finally came true after so many years. They can finally enjoy the benefits of being a man. A man would have offered his seat to a woman years ago, but those times have changed. Women today are equal to men, so I don't understand why a man must give up his seat to a woman. Okay, so this is for all of my single over 30 people. Is anybody else just over this hookup culture? I mean, I get it. I'm, I'm online. I'm trying all these things. But like, what happened to romance? What happened to, you know, a little bit of chivalry? Whatever happened to all of the nice things that men used to do instead of everyone asking us, what are you doing? Can I come through? Is there any real man out there at all? This woman cannot be serious. After getting smashed and dashed due to hookup culture, now she wants to worry about romance. Matter of fact, let's do this. What happened to cherishing your body? What happened to having one partner? What happened to having morals and loyalty? You can't just want romance and love when you've already let everybody have a turn, lady. That's not how it works. This is what I call divine punishment. Within time, every woman who used to flock the street will come to their senses. But by that time, it will be too late. Chivalry is dead. 
And women killed it. Feminism is here. Women are more educated than ever before. They're making their own money. But as a byproduct of them becoming more successful, they do have a little bit more of a masculine energy. You're not going to be successful in business by being passive and a pussy. You're going to need to be a little more masculine. And on top of that, women are having a bit more casual sex, which is fine. All power to you. But you just can't expect a man to... Be traditional, hold the door for you, treat you like a lady when you're no longer a traditional woman. It's bullshit. So guys adapted to this situation because, in reality, men haven't really changed. Women have. That's correct. Men have adapt. And these modern women don't like it. They want all the treatment that comes from being traditional, but they're not traditional themselves. It's crazy how they don't see feminism is just hurting everybody. The other thing is, these women treat the good men like they're nothing, but when they're finish having, they're fun with the chads who's breaking their hearts. They always try to find a way to crawl back to the nice guy. It's a last resort for them. Don't be the guy that saves a bird. Is chivalry dead and who killed it? I think chivalry is dead because women have not rewarded it. Women control like men's behavior, like you yeah. said. Like if women didn't open their legs for a dude unless he was chivalrous, men would be chivalrous. Correct. Really simple. Uh -huh. Because women will open their legs for a dude who's, a, who's an who's acting like a piece of shit, then that's what dudes will do. It's not that complicated. Hey, chivalry's dead, but I think you're making a pretty strong case for its revival. Well, I'm always ready to help a uh, beautiful lady. <laughs> I help the ugly ones as well, but I definitely say you're in the former camp. <laughs> Where am I taking this? Well, it's only a few streets away. I'm moving in with my boyfriend. Fuck you. Oh! <laughs> I'm not saying you have to go out there and like buy me a Chanel bag. Like $5 flower bouquet from Trader Joe's works just as great. But I think that a lot of these men overlook the little things and don't realize that those little things bring us women so much joy because it's not something that we get on a day-to-day -day basis, which is crazy. I'm going to have to disagree with that. Even when these men do these little things, at a certain point, it turns into not doing enough. And to be honest, most girls these days don't even deserve the little things. Not when they're preaching being independent and not needing a man. They just expect these things because they're women, not because they've earned it. Has there been a new law that just passed that makes it illegal for guys to take girls out on dates? I feel like, like taking a girl out on a date, that etiquette has like past like i don't see anyone doing it anymore i've literally had a guy pick me up and ask me what are we doing the fuck i look like the encyclopedia bitch you tell me <laughs> like it's crazy out here i don't care what anybody says but a guy should always be paying for dates i already know the men are gonna come in my comments crying and screaming i don't care if you're okay with splitting the bill, if you're okay with taking turns paying, if you're okay with being the one that's paying for most of the things, fine, that's on you, girl. But me, uh-uh. There are men out there who are literally paying for full-blown vacations for women, flying them out, paying for every single thing they could ever want, and you're gonna let a man make you split on a first date? Some men are providers and some men aren't. Some men want to give you the world and that aspect and some men want to do 50-50 and that's fine. That's not what I want. I'm sorry, but if I'm having your baby, if I'm giving birth to a whole ass human and going through everything that I have to do for that, I am not doing 50-50. It is not a crazy ass bitch. There are so many men out there who do it, trust me. And if a guy is asking you on a date and not paying, stop, you'll never hear from me again. First date kind of crazy though, because you don't really know the person enough to pay for them. But after that, it makes sense. I did this before with a man, and not anymore. Are you willing to jump, roll, do a backflip, and be submissive? That's the price those women pay for those trips and lavish lifestyle. If not, enjoy your single life. And some of these men paying for everything is the reason you'll turn around and pick the bear. Some men who do everything for you may feel like they own you. Disagree. In this society, we all want to be equal, so it should be where both sides do that. 
Yes, sometimes I think one side should treat them, but I don't think it should be expected. Going on dates and having a man's child are two different things, but let's break it down. To create a baby, it requires the help of the man and the woman. That's 50-50 right there, because both genders fulfilled their roles. If procreation is 50-50, why do they have such a big issue going 50-50 on everything else? These women feel so entitled it would take a decade to cure that illness. Matter of fact, I take that back. It's already been a century since they fought for equality and they're still doing the same jobs. Yesterday at approximately 12 a.m. I was on my way home and suddenly I got drenched in the rain, absolutely soaked in the rain. I was literally running and fighting for my life. At this moment, I was approached by a man who I thought was going to remove his shirt and give it to me as an umbrella. He did not do this. He instead asked for my number as I was running in the rain. It was at this moment that I realized that Shivery is, is truly, truly dead. I hope this is a joke because why would you expect a man to give you his shirt to cover yourself? That man isn't your man and I'm pretty sure he was getting wet by the rain also. Why didn't you provide him with something to cover himself up? It's always a one-way street for modern women. They only see themselves. Breaking f***ing news, y'all. Um, Chivalry is f***ing dead. Chivalry is dead. Chivalry is dead. They don't give a f*** about us. Chivalry is dead. I'm walking out of the gym. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm seeing this man behind me. He looked tired. I'm holding the door. He just walked through. I'm like, you think I'm, I'm trying to hold the door? This is not, this is not second grade. This is not giving like door attendant. No, you're supposed to get the door. He just walked through. The f it's open. <laughs> get in. I don't go out with guys who don't open the door for me. Okay. Damn first date in your opinion. Yeah, of course the man that's that's easy the second one i would say as a joke hey i paid for the first one come on if they keep paying and paying and paying well i wouldn't allow it no or? like i have I my own just... money i think it's also good to just split the bill because it saves me money and the women want to pay have you ever sent a woman a ticket yeah of course yeah. what was the smallest amount i think five or ten euros maybe would you ever pay for the guy yeah yeah, yeah. For sure on the first date no well not on the first date. <laughs> no. no she likes you then she'll pay for the second date both of you or for herself of both of course both. yeah yeah of course if the man has to keep paying and paying for every date, that woman doesn't care about him enough to reciprocate the energy. Honestly, that relationship will not last very long. Women in the comments are attacking these men for knowing their worth, while at the same time showing what double standards in gender equality means. The amount of men that I have seen here in London buying flowers, picking out Valentine's Day cards for their girls, for their women, for their men, whoever. I feel like it's not a thing in the U.S. Like, obviously, Valentine's Day is a thing in the U.S., but genuinely, there's men walking down the street with bouquets of flowers. Like, it's so refreshing. Chivalry is dead. Oh, it is, for sure. Yeah, he made me believe it wasn't, but you know what? Then we broke up, and now I think it's dead, so. Damn. Yeah. So that's how the, that's how it evolves. Yeah, it's like I have just such a high standard. Even if I probably didn't date him, I would just have such a high standard, and just like no one can meet that. And you know what? I'm not willing to lower that standard for anyone. Other day, I was walking out of my brother's apartment, and I my hands were full. My mom was behind me, and her hands were full. And this guy walked out, and the door shut, and he saw us walking. And he was like, "Oh, ladies, let me help you." We we're like, "We're fine." And he's like, "No." Went over, did his key fob, opened that door, opened the elevator door. And my mom said, thank you. He said, yes, ma'am. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, and in New York, they would just slam it in your face. They wouldn't even think twice about you. Nope. That's that's the South for you, baby. I mean, just what what a guy in general. What a guy. What, what guys, plural, just walking around here. What a guy indeed. Those same nice guys these women wouldn't date. They would praise the way these men treat them. But in the end, they go for the chads.
if a guy asks you out on a first date but then expects to split the bill with you, is that a deal breaker? Hell no. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not splitting the bill whatsoever at all. Like, I don't think you should ask me on a date and try to split the bill. You're not my boyfriend. And even if you were my boyfriend, I have to be like, hey, babe, I got it today. But definitely not. No, no. You need to earn that. You have to earn it for sure. Yeah. You have to pay your way. He has to pay his way. Standing on the train and look at all these men. What happened to giving up your seat for women? No man offered me a seat. Excuse me, are you going to get up? What? Are you going to get up? Are you pregnant? No. Are you for equality? Yes. Then f*** off. <laughs> best response ever. You can't have the best of both worlds. You wanted equality and you're being treated as equals. Can't just want equality when it suits you. I haven't seen this, but I, think okay. I can already have an idea. No, no, this is different than you think it's going to be. This is too much. Girlfriend got stuck. Bail out. Just bail. She got stuck. She didn't want to throw it. Excuse me? So now she's trying to get guys to come over and help her to lift that thing off her back. And I guarantee you there are guys that saw what was going on and were like, I'm staying out of this. I don't want to be in some video. I'm not getting involved. Yep. I'm approaching her, all that. And this is what I say about like feminism wrecking men, because your natural instinct as a man would just be like, let me go over and help this woman. Yeah. Right. Normal. You got to be afraid to do everything now. And I think that's why when people say the death of gentlemen and all this, women complain. I saw a video of a very prominent female figure being like, oh, no, all the good men are gone. I was like, well, you killed them. You killed whatever was inside of them that would have made them actually act like men. Guys are afraid to be men. Yeah. Feminism has disincentivized men from being gentlemen. I don't blame the men one bit for not going to her rescue. Because at that time, multiple men were getting cancelled on social media, being labelled as creeps and weirdos. They were only protecting themselves from the possibility of false allegations. The good thing is this woman came out unscathed at the end of the day. Do not ego squat at the gym. What to do if he's a really nice guy but expects you to pay 50-50? Personally, to me, that seems very fucking reasonable. I am not looking for someone to take care of me. I don't equate that someone paying for me means that they care about me and they love me. I am a grown-ass woman. I understand that dating is expensive, that I want a partnership, I want an equal, and what does that mean? That means that equal is that we both fucking participate and put into this. Now, obviously, if the other person is making 10 times your salary and you are struggling, then of course you can express that. Hey, I don't have the financial means to be able to do this. I apologize. But I don't think because a man is a good person, but because he wants to split 50-50 that you should walk away. That doesn't make you feel like a friend because they should also be showing up in other ways to make you feel a lot more reciprocated, loved, and adored. And if the only way that you see it as being a friendship versus romantic is by the financial component, well, then that is something where we have a little bit more work to do to figure out where the fuck did you learn that? <laughs> sometimes he pay fully, sometimes I pay fully, and sometimes we collectively pay, but not really. 50-50 sharp, always. Why is it a big deal? Eh, if I am expected to do my hair and makeup, then I expect him to cover the first date. I'm in an all-females Facebook group, and the amount of them that refuse 50-50 is mind-blowing to me. We just do, sometimes he pays, and sometimes I do. Because we don't want the awkward splitting the bill, but are realistic that dating is hella expensive. I love a take-turns relationship. I will never be in a Venmo-me-half relationship. We will take care of each other and take turns. This is hilarious because the ones who has a big issue splitting the bill are the ones that aren't getting married. They're the ones that's broke and just wants a man to leech off of. I honestly believe these women are looking for a sugar daddy. If she likes everything about the guy, except that he doesn't pay for her meal. She's not looking for partnership. Leeches just wants to leech until there's nothing left to suck on. Why do people think that chivalry is just about basic mutual respect as opposed to a one-way servitude towards women? Probably because it sounds a little bit selfish to say that you have to have a chivalrous man, but then you're not wanting to serve him in other ways. Why do people believe that chivalry is dead when chivalry is still expected and practiced? I believe that it is very hard to find, and so it feels like it's dead, but it should be still practiced, but it's far and few between. I think women want to do whatever they want, but want men to treat them like with chivalry, but they're not treating their men that way. So they're like not 
being wise and acting as that to receive that kind of treatment. This is a PSA to all the men out there. If you go on a first date with someone and the girl politely offers to split the bill with you, don't actually, don't say okay. I'm traumatized. And I didn't even get dinner. Like you couldn't buy me two margaritas. I'm starving right now. I'm about to Uber Eats McDonald's. You can buy me two margaritas? God. Mm. It's so sad. It's so sad that men don't open doors anymore. You sound stupid. How the hell you think I just got in the car? Wow. You suck. You need to think before you speak. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know to die. I get down to the top of the And then they watch me. Man. <laughs> um. A man just dead ass waited outside a double glass door for me to walk through it and hold it open for him so that he could go through it. These Dallas men really ain't shit. Fellas, is chivalry dead? I was in the laundry room and I went to go pick up my clothes from the from the dryers. Now this morning my husband helped me before he left and we had three baskets and he brought everything downstairs. But my husband's now out and he's hanging out with the grandkids. And so I go back to pick up my my laundry. There's a man, there's a man there and I have three baskets. I take the first basket down. He's standing right by the door and he doesn't even open the door for me. Matter of fact, he didn't even open the door for me when I was coming in. I had to open it with a key and he just stood right there. So strange, right? I take the first basket up. I come back down. I have two baskets. I put them on top of each other and I'm carrying the baskets. Now I jimmied the door before I came in to keep it open so that I could just, you know, use my hip to open the door and swing it open. But if I tell you this man didn't even raise an eyebrow, he just had his head down on his phone, which I found strange anyway, because typically you drop your stuff in the laundry room and you leave. You don't just kind of hang out. You know, maybe he was doing a quick dry. I don't know. I don't care. But he didn't even raise an eyebrow. He didn't ask me if I needed any help. He didn't even open the door. He, I know he saw me. Um, I'm almost six feet tall and I walked right past him. There's no way you cannot see me, but it was just so strange to me. So fellas, is chivalry dead? Would you have offered to help a lady if you saw her in that situation? Let me know. Okay, girly pops, I have aggregated some savage responses to when he asks to split the bill on a date that he asked you out on. First up, we have, ooh, no problem. I'm happy to keep it just friends. I actually wasn't feeling it either. That one should get his attention, you know? Especially if you feel like you add it like, oh, we're on the same team. Like, oh, yes, oh my God, totally. I definitely think we should keep it just friends. I wasn't really feeling a vibe either. Number two requires just a little bit more acting. You have to be a little caught off guard. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you needed help with this. Yes, of course, babe, let's split it. Number three is a real flex if you have the money. You just simply lock eyes and you just say, yeah, I don't split, I'll just pay it. Number four is my personal favorite. Ladies, get ready for the Oscar performance. You are going to look up and go, oh my God, I've never actually been asked to pay on a first date. This is crazy. Oh my God. Actually, this is kind of exciting. The group chat is gonna love this. I think all four of those will really humble them quickly. Uh, let me know if you want more savage responses in the comments. So instead of paying for the food that she shoved down her throat, she came up with shaming responses to try and shame men. She feels entitled to the fact that he should pay for her meals because she's a woman. In that case, is it okay for him to feel entitled to her body afterwards? When these women are speaking about giving dating tips, you should really pay attention to their fingers. That will explain why they're still roaming the streets trying to get free meals from guys. Uh, here's the other part of that deal, guys. Um, you are paying for dinner. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. 
People tell me all the time, well, Sarah, chivalry is dead. Well, it was murdered, I think, actually. And we need to launch an investigation because I don't know who did it. I think it was the Dutch, but I can't prove it. This is a hopeful dating post when it comes to my girlies. Uh, chivalry is not dead, I promise you. I just went out on a date with a guy. We did not get drinks. We got coffee. We took my dog for a walk. It was one of the best dates I've been on. He was attractive. It was fun. He stood on the outside of the walkway. He was very gentleman-like. Chivalry is not dead, so don't give up. Also, always remember that who you attract is who you are. So if you're attracting shitty men, most likely it's because, unfortunately, you have shitty thoughts about yourself as a female. So chivalry is not dead. Heal. You should always be healing. Oh, I, I think I think that's pretty right. I don't yeah. disagree. And it sucks because that's how I wish it could be like chivalry where I can show up on a first date with flowers and give you the world, baby. And oh, my God, let me put my jacket on the yeah. fucking puddle and all this shit. I wish it could be like that. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, women respond horribly to nice guys. And we have all the ev evidence to prove it. You used to flirt with all of my girlfriends. Chivalry is so dead. What makes you say that? Because every time I go on a date, there are literally zero guys that know how to do it. What do you mean? It, uh, open my door? Pull my chair out? Pay the bill? The sidewalk thing? You know what I mean. Well, yeah, I do know what you mean, but I think you're just looking at chivalry the wrong way. Huh? Those things you mentioned are great examples of chivalrous actions, but chivalry isn't a checklist. It's a duty and an energy. I'm confused. See, if you go into a date with a list of items, and you just find yourself testing him on whether or not he performs them then you aren't actually connecting with him or paying attention to what matters uh what matters is that i feel taken care of right but you aren't testing that because his version of taking care of you might be different from your image of it maybe he held open the restaurant door but not the car door maybe he was never taught the sidewalk thing maybe he didn't pull out your chair but he made sure you were comfortable at the table he might not be doing your ideal version of what you call chivalry but he's still trying to take care of you and i think you're probably missing out on some great men by rushing to judgment hmm decent point what are you doing? Deleting my chivalry list? You actually had a list? Yeah. This is a great example of why men have stopped with the chivalrous acts. They don't even appreciate the small things. It's about what they can get. But chivalry is not men serving women. It's about being kind, polite, and honest. And if we go further back, chivalry is a code about knights and their behavior in combat and at court. It never had anything to do with dating. But since they want to play this game, another word for chivalry is called patriarchy, and women killed it. Simmer down, Inseminator. We didn't kill chivalry. Y'all did by refusing to adapt so you could more effectively fulfill its foundational purpose. Because it shows fuck wasn't about romance. The rules of chivalry were created to teach upper-class boys to behave like upper-class men. And the rules in regards to women had nothing to do with flattery or romance. It had to do with compensating for the things that that upper-class woman could not easily do herself because she was too busy fulfilling the egregious societal standards that were enforced upon her by upper-class men. So if her skirts were too big to easily sit in a chair, you'd hold the chair so it wouldn't get knocked out from under her when she was trying. If her corset made it difficult to lean down and pick something up, you'd lean down and pick that thing up for her because that's what she needed. If you are not fulfilling the everyday needs that I have that I can't fulfill myself because societal standards keep me from being able to effectively do so, you're not doing chivalry right. What she's talking about is chivalry from the past. That comment is referring to modern chivalry, which has a whole different meaning today. There's been multiple men who was yelled at by women because they were holding the door for them. They scream at the top of their lungs, I don't need a man to do it for me, I can do it myself. The new definition for modern chivalry is women must earn chivalry. And I'm pretty sure anyone can just hold a door. It's called being a human being. Chivalry is dead. Yeah. And you're upset by that. Chivalry yeah. is dead. Yeah. So like, what's an example of guys not being chivalrous anymore? Even like opening the car door for you. Oh, Ch chivalry is dead though. Yes. Like what is it? Like I look at my dad. Yeah. And how he treats my mom. Sure. And I, I and I talked to them about this the other day. Like I'm like I'm gonna be 35 in December, and you know I thought by now. Okay, I know. <laughs> Gotta be like married, and, but it's like, I have so many girlfriends that are in the same boat because it's just like men aren't built the same way like our dads were back in the day. But are women built the same way? Yeah.
It's very simple. Oh, you want a traditional man? Are you a traditional woman? And most of these modern women are not traditional. They do not deserve chivalry. They go around saying men and women are equal, but then want to be treated differently for being a woman. As a rule of thumb, you should be chivalrous to women who don't believe in gender equality and feminism and all this modern propaganda. Funny how she sees what her father did for her mother, but doesn't see what her mother did for her father. After the third time of being called out, I quit doing the door and chair thing. I'm a single 50s man with a house and a car. I will be damn if I will marry a woman and lose it all years later. You women have bought this on yourself. They want chivalry, but I can't remember the last time I met a woman without a double digit body count. Feminism has always treated equality like a buffet. They pick what they want and leave what they don't. This is really just another example of that. Just when will these modern women accept the truth that women killed it? Her father never had to put up with toxic masculinity. The Me Too movement, the sprinkle, sprinkle birds. The era that her father was born in was free of all those things, if I'm not mistaken. This is just what women created, and they just hate to face the results of their destruction. I think chivalry is dead, guys. Dead. Call me old-fashioned, but the taxi drivers used to help people who have got cases. He just lifted up his boo. I was struggling. I was like, ha. I got in, I was like, oh, so you don't help uh, people with cases anymore. He's like, oh, well, no, not unless they're old. He was like, you look very able and strong. So, well, thank you. I've been working on my muscle stuff. I really don't appreciate shit. And this is why chivalry is dead. This is why men don't want to do shit for us anymore. Because the minute you start to not appreciate, but expect shit, I'm not doing it for you. And I'm a woman and I feel that way. And I know men, I know men that feel that way. I don't have to do anything for you, but respect you. I don't have to send you money. I don't have to spend money on you. I don't have to do any of that. That's, that's a, that's something I want to do. I can't believe he's making me clear off the snow while he just sits in the car. He's the one that wants Starbucks. Despite the storm warning, you know what? No, he should be doing this. Here. <laughs>